Are reparations mentioned in the Bible? Perhaps, but not in the way you might think. Hi, Alex McFarland here. Let me read a word from the New Testament that really is rendered reparations. But nowadays, when we hear about reparations, very often uh, those with a political ideology will argue that uh, this or that ethnic group is owed something by the government or owed something by the rest of us, or a guaranteed minimum wage, whether you work or not. We hear so much about social justice, and it always involves money, right? Let me tell you what God's Word has to say about reparations. In the book of Hebrews, the New Testament book of Hebrews, which uh, sometimes is, is tongue-in-cheek called the Gospel of Hebrews because it's so much about Jesus and salvation. But it says that God, who has spoken through the prophets of old, has in these last days spoken through his Son, Jesus Christ. Now, speaking of Jesus, Hebrews 1 verse 3 says, "...who is the brightness of God's glory, the expressed image of his person, upholding all things by the word of his power." Okay, so Jesus is God incarnate, and he holds the world together by his word and his will. Now listen to this. When he had by himself purged our sins, Jesus sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Okay, the word purged, interesting word. In the original Greek, it's the word catharsis. It's a variant of that. Now, you know the story in the Old Testament. They sacrificed lambs, the blood on the altar was a temporary covering of sin, the blood of the Lord Jesus on Calvary's cross, a permanent eradication of sin. When Jesus from the cross cried out, it is finished, John 19, 30, there was no more need of any more sacrifices. His blood was shed to purge our sin. Now, in some commentaries, it's uh, rendered as the word expiate or expiation. I love it. It's the eradication of our guilt before God, made right before God. And you've heard the word catharsis, uh, that something that is healing or therapeutic, and certainly getting in right relationship with God is very beneficial. But do you know the word translated in the King James, purged, is also uh, a version in Latin of the word reparation. Jesus repariated us to God. Nowadays, the word reparation means give me money. But do you know what it really means? It really means that we've been given forgiveness and something we didn't deserve, absolution before God, is given as a free gift. And something Christ didn't deserve, the punishment for our sin. It's been said he paid a debt he didn't owe because we owed a debt that we couldn't pay. Think about it. On Calvary's cross, the Son of God was nailed to the cross, the appropriate measure of God's wrath that you and I deserved, the, the guilt of humanity, the pain of hell. Jesus endured because he loves us. So the reparations, the gift of being made right before God, the guilt of humanity put on Jesus, he, Hebrews 1.3, purged our sins. He obliterated, eliminated the guilt that would have put us in eternal hell. What more could we ask? Folks, spread the word. If you like this video, please like us on social media. Share with your friends my website, alexmcfarland.com. Remember, Jesus is as close by as a prayer. Hi, Alex McFarlane on the set of the Truth For A New Generation television show, but I want to talk to you about our new book coming out, 100 Bible Questions and Answers for Families. Hundreds of people have given us questions, and this is about God and family. It's a fall of 23 release. It's available everywhere books are sold, online, your local bookstores, even Sam's Club, Barnes & Noble, 100 Bible Questions and Answers for Families, published by the great people at Broad Street.